everybody and welcome back to the kitchen. Um, I got a little bit of a treat here for you guys today, something that I've never cooked before, um, but um, I thought we could kind of learn together and give it a go. Um, I'm cooking tur. Newfoundland tur is a saltwater bird. It's also called mirror and they kind of look like a little bit of a penguin. Um, yeah, and they uh, actually catch some right out, you know, they're out in the boat and they shoot the bird and here we go. We got some tur here and I was lucky enough um, to have a wonderful friend that gave me a couple because uh, I know they're pretty rare and not only did they give me a couple, he already had them clean and the skin is on and they're picked and everything. So I thought, why not? My father-in-law is coming today. So um, yeah, let's get into some Newfoundland tur. Um, I'm going to stuff these today. Um, I've got my dressing and it's going to be the same dressing that I used for, you know, the stuffed chicken breast the other day. I've already got my onion in here that was sauteed with a couple of tablespoonfuls of butter. I was really nice and got a new jar of <laughs> Mount Sio Savory. Uh, if you don't have Mount Sio Savory, you can use Summer Sage. Um, summer savory, sorry, or sage, but it's it's absolutely not going to taste the same. And so, yeah, I'm just taking um, a few pinches. Sorry, I forget. <laughs> I forget sometimes that you're wondering how much to put in. So I put in about four pinches like that. And again, remember the other video, rub it. I was rubbing it between my fingers. So whether you do it that way or that way, it's all good. Um, take that and mix that in with your dry breadcrumbs. Um, I'm again using my homemade breadcrumbs. Um, and that's because I, I, well, I don't buy store-bought bread for one. And the breadcrumbs have so many ingredients that, yeah, I'm not, uh, <laughs> I'm not putting that in there. So we got some pepper and, um, yeah, just a bit of salt. And I was just using a little kosher salt today. And that's it. So simple, simple, easy peasy. Again, that's the dressing. It's very simple and uh, very delicious. So I'm just going to take my turn here now. And I'm going to put the cavity side. So yesterday, so tur, I've been asking a lot of people and they say it has like a strong taste flavor a lot of people don't like them some like them some like with skin on some like them with skin off some people wouldn't even eat them if the skin was off um some people cook them in coca-cola and different things uh what i did was like yesterday i took a can of carnation milk and i put in a couple of tablespoonfuls of lemon juice and I left that in there overnight. And what that does, I do that when I make Mary Brown's chicken or if I make uh, calamari and it kind of takes any, so for the calamari, it kind of takes that fishiness out. And, but what it really does is tenderizes the meat. So that's what I kind of wanted to do here. And I heard um, that they have a bit of a smell when they're cooking, I don't know. I'm just glad it's nice out today because if they do, I can open the door. Um, I've got a bowl of water underneath here because I'm absolutely going to need it. So, yeah, so here's our, our tur here. <laughs> and, and, and they say it's greasy and I can actually feel the difference in the skin, like as opposed to a chicken, you can absolutely feel the difference. So I'm just taking little handfuls of stuffing and I didn't again make too, too, too much. Oh, I'm surprised that the cavity actually fills out quite well. I, I was thinking I wasn't gonna need very much and I had too much made, but I don't think so. I'm actually, yeah, if you can, let me see if I can push that up. And so I dried these inside as well with a little bit of, um, a little bit of paper towel. And I do that as well. I'm actually going to um, lay that there so I can stop the other one so I don't run out. Um, I do that with chicken and turkey and stuff because if you don't dry out the inside after you clean it, well, your dressing tends to get really wet. 
and I can't stand white dressing. And I actually think I may have put a little too much butter in mine today, but it's okay because they're going to be cooking for a very, very, very long time. Um, I was speaking to Uncle Sean on the phone last night, and he told me that, I'm not sure if it was his father or somebody had told him, the rule goes, so when you're cooking tur, you take a beach rock and you put it in the pot with the tur, a really smooth one, and when the beach rock is done, so is the tur. <laughs> <laughs> which means I just think that it takes a really, really, really long time um, to cook. What I'm going to do is um, put them in a high heat and then turn it down and leave them in for a few hours. Now, as you can see, one tear is my, a nice bit bigger than the other, but that's okay. I absolutely wish I had to make more dressing, like, but I had, I don't know, almost a bowl full, so it's good. It looks awesome. So now... I'm going to eat these like this. I also heard that um, if you wrap a little bacon or something around it, it's really good. I'm actually going to quickly grab my bacon out of the fridge. I forgot it. One sec. <laughs> Got it. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm just using regular um, bacon, but before I do that, I also heard that you should um, prick the skin um, because it's oily. I don't know, like there's room for it to come out. I can actually see where they shot that one. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of stab the bird a little bit <laughs> just to, uh, I guess, release this if, if, the, if it is the case. Um, and what I thought I might do is, uh, put a little bacon on, you know, at least one of them just to see, um, you can probably just buy any old sheet bacon, um, and again, I'm just going to take that and I'm going to wrap it around the bird. I actually think it looks really nice, so I think I might do it to both of them um, instead. And I'm not going to use a lot because I don't want to um, cover up the taste of the bird. Um, and it tells me that, you know, that's what you want is the taste, the wild taste. So, um, you know, try and keep everybody happy. I would like it, you know, I, I, I don't think I would like it if it was too, too, too strong of a taste. But uh, anyway, we'll see. We'll soon find out uh, whether or not I like it. I remember my dad catching birds uh, when we were young. And uh, I would sit down and eat the whole bird myself. That's my oven. Um, because there's not a whole lot on, on a bird anyway, as you can see. Um, yeah. So now, along with that, I am going to take some turnips. They told me, Sherry actually told me, that when people hunt for deer and different things, that they put turnip in with, and that absorbs some of the wild taste. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna put some turnip in here. I am probably also going to put um, some potato and stuff in here, but I'm not gonna put that till later on because the potato will absolutely, um, you know, cook and go away to nothing, basically. So we'll wait until the last, uh, I guess, hour or so of cooking to do that. Um, so yeah, so I got the birds, we got the turnip in here, and I was also going to show you, if you're wondering what this big, ginormous plant is here next to me, that's my rosemary plant that I grew from a little tiny um, starter plant that you get at Sobeys and different things. And this is actually half of it because two years ago I split it in half and gave half to my mother. And uh, rosemary is wonderful on chicken and pork and potatoes and all, all kinds of stuff like that. So my rosemary was in need of a trimming, so I thought why not put some of that in there too. And that should, uh, you know, add a nice flavor. Um, and I'm just going to put it in um, on the sides, not on the top or anything. Um, 
you know, I just uh, want a little bit of the flavor. And you can see here my rosemary actually just finished flowering. Um, so um, that's all those little dry bits that you see in here. If you have a rosemary plant yourself and you want it to get big and bushy, instead of cutting like I'm doing here now, what you want to do is take the tip here and just pull it off like so. And what that does is it'll make it branch out into a couple branches. Um, I'll give you an example now. Uh, yeah, here. You can see that this top has two two little branches on it, and that's from me plucking it. Now, what else are we going to do with it? I think we're going to add more salt, because again, I only added the salt um, to the dressing, and I know there's salt in bacon, so I'm just going to, there's a tiny, tiny bit over that. Um, a little salt in on the turnip. Um, I'm going to, I heard lots and lots of pepper. Um, I'm actually going to use my black pepper and turmeric because I prefer fresh ground pepper and my plain black pepper is almost empty. <laughs> so, um, yeah, nice bit of pepper. Looking pretty nice already, I gotta say. I hope it tastes good and I hope it doesn't uh, smell too, too, too strong. I'm also going to get some stuff out of your way for a second. I'm going to take another onion and uh, yeah, I'm just going to take the ends off. Sorry for the noise and take the peel off. Some people cook um, onions with the peel on and stuff, and they say it's really good, like you could actually eat the peel and everything, but um, yeah, I, I'm too nervous of everything that they like spray on the foods and different things. Um, so, I always take my peel off. So I'm just gonna quarter it into fourths. And I'm going to put that in around there. And for me, like, I put garlic in everything. And I know Newfoundlanders, a lot of Newfoundlanders absolutely hate garlic. Um, but garlic is very, very, very good for you. Like the rosemary. Did you know when you smell rosemary, it actually increases your memory by like 75%. And that's scientifically proven. Um, my garlic's getting old. I thought I could crush it, but I don't want to make too much noise. So I'm just going to half the cloves and, um, yeah, stick them in around again. I'm not putting them directly in the bird because I don't want a big flavor of garlic to mask the, uh, you know, the natural taste of the bird. And leave that one whole because it's, you know, not as big. And, uh, Garlic is really good too for like toothaches and inflammation and heart problems and so many things. So a very, very, very good thing. Yeah. This one is fighting with me, of course. <laughs> oh well, here we go. Now. Well, maybe not now. <laughs> they say too, you could just put these all in a big bowl and shake them, but again, I don't want to do that for the noise. Um, Now, my garlic is actually coming up in the garden, which is wonderful. I'm actually going to kind of flip this around now so you can have good, uh, a good look. Look. Oh, it's quite heavy now. Um, so, I'll turn it this way so you can see this side too. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is, um, they didn't specify whether to cover or not cover. In my experience, most times I'll put something in on a high heat, even under a low broil, um, especially if it has skin on it, um, and that kind of um, seals all the juices and stuff in the bird. So um, I'm gonna go 400 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna turn that right down to about 325 and let it cook for, until the beet track is done. 
<laughs> uh, I'm thinking three hours or so. If my father-in-law isn't here, um, it, by the time I take these out, I'll absolutely come back on here and try and give a, uh, another little video of them out of the oven. If not, I will absolutely take a picture and uh, yeah, try and write down some sort of a recipe for you. I'm also going to put a little drop of water in the pan because I have a rack and the juices are going to drain down and just before they come out of the oven, well not before they come out of the oven, probably like an hour before, I'm going to put the potatoes in and then if you want you can actually make a gravy but I'm a bit nervous because I don't know if it's going to be strong or not so we will see and I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you're having the most beautiful day once again and uh, yeah we'll see you again here soon and uh, yeah thanks for watching okay bye